Howdy. I grew up in Central Europe, in a place where you find hundreds and hundreds of castles and ruins of castles and whatever stuff. Many stories about dragons, lions, bears and these kind of things. And I just stumbled across this video. I'm still watching it. Obviously. <laughs> And I found it so fascinating that I just want to share this with you. <clears throat> and I have been watching and somehow I really like this guy, Tim from Lindenau. He is very respectful to the place or to the place. I don't know. That's the first video I've ever watched from him. <clears throat> Might be not the last one. And he's exploring this uh, very, very interesting place. And he doesn't tell where it is. So maybe it takes a while until I figure it out. But like I don't know if I even get into that, into figuring it out. But anyway, I was watching this and there is a very, there are very fascinating ruins. And I've been talking about this many times. People need water. So if you find whatever settlement or whatever somewhere, church, for example, water is in the very near vicinity of that. In the cases of churches or monasteries or such things, castles, the water might be inside because if there is an enemy waiting outside, you need at least water. Maybe some food too and weapons and all this kind of stuff. But water is very important. So when I was watching and I was waiting to see water because I was very sure there is. And I just wanted to share you a piece of this video. I will put a link below and enjoy. das an ihrer Struktur, dass die mal anders gewachsen sind, als sie jetzt liegen. Man muss sich eine gewaltige Kraft vorstellen. He's talking about the rocks. Brocken von... Wie sind das? Das ist ja ein Ding, das wiegt 100... Quatsch, 200 Tonnen oder so. Ein gewaltiges Erdbeben könnte sowas auslösen. sich dieses Rinnsal hier von einer Quelle hier lang. Aber viel Wasser führt es nicht. Yes, I really recommend you to watch this video. I will until the end because it's very interesting. And there is also water. And maybe one day I will find out what place that is. And let's see. Do we find any stories about dragons related to that place? I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, thanks. Bye.